Good morning everybody, welcome back. My name's Chelsea if you don't know me and today uh, we're in Poland and we're going to be going to Auschwitz a little bit later um, but this morning before we get the bus there's a market close by to where we're staying and um, so we're just going to have a quick look around there. It happens every Saturday morning and then I think we might be able to get some Polish food from here as well so yeah let's go have a look. Okay, I don't know if they haven't just finished setting up yet, um, but there wasn't actually that much at the market, so we're gonna head to a cemetery. Oh, also, um, there is like food there that we saw yesterday, but none of it was open yet. It's like 9.30, so I assume maybe they don't open until 10 or 11 maybe, but um, yeah, so we're, <laughs> we're skipping that now, and we're going to a cemetery, and um, it's, a cemetery it was like destroyed a little bit in the World War II and then I think they rebuilt it and then they also put like a monument in it for all the people who died in World War II. We're gonna go and see if we can find it. So this is turning out to be a really successful morning looking around. Um, the cemetery is closed on Saturdays so um, we're gonna come back tomorrow and have another look. Everything is closed on Saturdays slash before 10, so <laughs> not been too successful so far. I don't really know where we're going now because we were going to go to the old synagogue, but because it's a Saturday, probably can't do that either. I don't know what we should do. <laughs> Maybe we'll just get the bus early to Auschwitz. Okay, so we have decided to just walk to the bus station now. It's about a 25 minute walk from where we're staying. Yeah, we have like an hour until we want to get the bus. The bus that we want to get is at like 11 or 10 past 11. So we have a fair bit of time. So we're just gonna walk so that we can actually see Krakow because we were gonna get a taxi. But since we have the time and then if there is anything that we want to stop at on the way, then we can. Don't really know what else to do this morning. So we're just gonna go. Now, if there is an earlier bus, then we can probably just get that. we came to the MDA bus station it's um, apparently there's like a mall just behind and then the bus station is over there when we arrived there was a really really long queue for the um, tickets and the lady at the information desk didn't know anything so don't ask her <laughs> maybe someone would be better another day um, but yeah there was a really really long queue for the tickets uh, so we actually didn't end up buying the tickets from the ticket office we did queue for about like 20 minutes but the queue just didn't move so we had to use google translate to speak to a man who works here and you can actually buy the tickets on the bus um, you have to use cash if you want to buy the tickets on the bus oh it's getting loud <laughs> and we got two tickets return for 56 slotties that's about 10 pounds for two tickets to return i think the bus journey is about an hour and a half to two hours we got on the little bus. Uh, yeah we got on the little bus there is a bigger bus which might be a bit more comfy because this is very uh, very snug yeah. yeah we're right on the back we were like the last people on the bus i think that the journey is about an hour and a half but i'll let you know how long it actually takes it's it's now what time? 11 o'clock. It's now 11 o'clock. So, yeah, hopefully, should be there by 12 30. Okay, so we got off the bus. It took about an hour and 25 minutes. It was very crowded on the bus <laughs> for a lot of the journey. A lot of people got off about like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, we got dropped off, but we have actually no idea where the museum entrance is. We're kind of wondering, like there's no signposts or anything, so we're not sure if it is back where we got dropped off, but everyone else was walking this way. I'll, I'll let you know where it is a bit confusing there's no signposts or anything we're kind of following other people who got off our bus this is where we are now this is where the bus dropped us everyone walked this way we checked google maps and it told us to come back this way so we're walking this way but we have to go all the way around 
no matter which way we go. So I recommend turn right and go this way because it's quicker. So this was the entrance. That's the entry to the museum. And then the bus stop to the other camp is here. These are the times it comes every, what is that, 10 minutes? A weekend. Monday to Friday, it's different. Monday to Friday is every 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. At the weekend is every 10 minutes. This was the kitchen. And that's the washrooms and latrines. This was the infirmary as well. Whoa, these are the toilets. Oh my goodness. can't really see it on the camera but over there all of this were buildings like these ones here you can still see some of the chimneys that are standing so here you can actually see the entrance to the guest chamber and further down you can see the remains of it they actually blew it up with dynamite to try and hide what they did during the war So these are also old barracks where they used to sleep and these are the chimneys so all the wood burned down or disintegrated and all that's left. These chimneys, there's loads of them over the camp. Okay, so we just got back. Um, it's been a very long day. For our bus, we actually brought a return ticket. And when you're going to Auschwitz, I would actually recommend not getting a return ticket just because then you're not like tied to a certain bus company. I'm not sure if we were or if we could have got on the big bus. Um, but our bus actually dropped us off at like the back of the camp. So we had to walk all the way around and to the left where it dropped us off, it was like, 1,600 meters and then to the right it was 1,200 meters. So yeah, I don't know if the big bus takes you like directly into the car park or if that's also the same, but 
I don't know, if anyone knows then leave a comment um, so that people can have a look. But um, yeah, I don't know, I would maybe recommend trying to get the big bus because it was quite crowded on the way there. On the way back it was fine but it was really cold. Or oh, I would also maybe recommend trying to do the Auschwitz 1 camp before the Auschwitz-Birkenau camp 2. Just because by the time we got to the Auschwitz 1 camp um, we were very cold um, and starting to get like a bit tired so we weren't as focused on wanting to read things as much because everywhere was cold. So maybe try and do that one first and you'll be a bit more maybe into reading it because then at the camp two there's not as much stuff to read and it's more like walking around and seeing like life as it was there whereas Auschwitz one camp is more like a museum so you're going in the buildings it's a lot smaller so there's not quite as much walking but you're going in all the buildings and it's like a museum so I do have to also say like it was just crazy walking around Auschwitz and thinking like this is where so many people lost their lives like it's so sad I just like it's it's very sad to walk around um especially in like the Birkenhau camp like you can actually see like the gas chambers like where they've like destroyed it to try and cover up the, what they did there and then you go to Auschwitz one camp and you can actually walk through like the gas chamber and it's yeah it's crazy it's very like it's just hard to believe that like that happened and like when you're reading about all this stuff like it's very sad yeah you just see like what went on in those camps and like literally where you're walking like people lost their lives like it's crazy and it's so sad so we got back to Krakow at about seven maybe just before <coughs> seven we tried to go to a place like a vegan cafe in Krakow called Cocina Verde uh, it's like vegan pizzas and everything sounded amazing but for some reason they weren't serving food they were only doing drinks and we got there and it was like 7 p.m. and they didn't close until 10 so I don't know why. So we ended up just walking around for a little while and then we went back to the marketplace where we were at this morning. Obviously the market had stopped but the street food had all opened and there was a vegan stand there. I can't remember the name but I took a video of the stand so I'll put it in. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned something from it. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.